Nowadays, the world is much closer to a nuclear conflict than at any other time since the Cuban Missile Crisis. Russia continues to fire missiles at the civilian population of Ukraine from its submarines and ships, threatening the whole world with the nuclear button. The US and Britain, in turn, have made it clear to Russia's deranged dictator that they would respond immediately. Additionally, the latter has astute class submarines, which can easily become one of the key tools in the event of a global nuclear threat. Today, the Russian nuclear military potential is represented by 4,477 nuclear warheads, or about 6,000 even if we take into account those that are officially considered decommissioned. Against this, NATO's three leading members, the US, France, and the UK have a vast stockpile of more than 6,600 nuclear warheads. And although the use of such weapons would lead to a guaranteed mutual destruction of all parties in the conflict, and our logic tells us that such a scenario is unrealistic, let's just think for a minute whose submarines are more dangerous, Russian or British? Perhaps one of the most frequent regulars in all of the news about the tragic events in the ongoing war was the Russian 3M54 caliber cruise missiles, with which the invaders attack different parts of Ukraine. This family of Russian missiles exists in several versions, ship-based, underwater, and air-based, as well as variants for anti-ship, anti-submarine, and ground use. Some of them have a second engine stage, which initiates a supersonic sprint of sorts at the final approach to the target in order to leave almost no time for the enemy's defense systems. Subsonic variants of this missile can boast of greater range than their supersonic brothers. All carry either an 1,100-pound explosive or thermonuclear warhead. At the same time, when speaking about the maximum range of the ground strike calibers used by Russia, it's worth considering that the US Department of Defense declared 870 miles, while the Russian defense minister estimated the range at nearly 930 miles. And in 2015, in the report from the Office Naval Management, referred to the literally fantastic figure of 1,600 miles. While Russian experts claim that the long range refers to a caliber variant with a thermonuclear warhead, military analysts around the world consider this nothing more than political statements. First off, Russian submarines of the Kilo, Leda, Amur, Akula, Yasin, and Borai classes all serve as launch platforms for calibers, and shells launched from a submarine torpedo tube don't require an accelerator to change the thrust vector and are capable of speeds up to 3 Mach. However, as practice shows, even this sometimes fails to save them from the stunning work of Ukrainian air defense operators. But what if Russia dares to equip several of these calibers with nuclear warheads? Britain could most likely respond to such aggression even faster than the US or NATO. The UK's nuclear weapons program during World War II was codenamed Tube Alloys and resulted in the country becoming the third country in the world to develop and test nuclear weapons after the USA and USSR. Today, the United Kingdom has 225 nuclear warheads, 120 of which are available for deployment as Trident missiles. 16 UGM-133 Trident II ballistic missiles are loaded into four nuclear submarines, based in the Scottish HMB Clyde, one of the three UK operating bases, along with the HNMB Devonport and HMNB Portsmouth. Since the commissioning of the first nuclear submarine, HMS Dreadnought, in 1963, the Royal Navy has maintained a massive force in the form of nuclear submarines. And while the fleet has experienced what experts have called a transformational crisis, over the past decade, the latest astute class nuclear submarines have succeeded in becoming an essential component to the core of Britain's offensive capabilities. During the Cold War, the United Kingdom operated 12 
nuclear-powered submarines, hoping to build a successor equal in strength to the Trafalgar Mark II ships, focusing on a possible war with Soviet submarines in the North Atlantic and the Arctic. However, after the collapse of the USSR, the threat in the face of Russian submarines no longer looked as dangerous and forced the Russian command to form new requirements for future nuclear ships. The fleet took a break in the design, and after a while presented, perhaps, the most advanced multi-purpose submarine in its history. The first astute was set in 2001, 10 years after the completion of the last Trafalgar, and 3 years after the last Vanguard class class SSBN, HMS Vengeance, was launched. The Astute class was the first nuclear submarine in the world to be designed in a 3D computer environment. This, among other things, allowed the project to implement many technological innovations and abandon some obsolete components, such as an optical periscope, replacing it with video technology that allows the crew to scan the horizon with a 360-degree view to instantly eliminate any potential threat. The heart of the 318-foot Astute is a Rolls-Royce PWR2 jet engine. It was designed for Vanguard-class ballistic missile submarines and offers a 25-year service life without the need for refueling. This makes the new Astute submarines 30% larger than their predecessors from the Royal Navy, which are equipped with smaller diameter reactors. Theoretically, such ships can sail around the world without surfacing, but each of them is only supplied with food for 90 days, which forces them to still visit dry land. The bridge fin was strengthened for easy ascent of the boat even in regions with a thick layer of ice. In addition to this, unlike any Russian nuclear submarine, astute vessels are equipped with 39,000 acoustic tiles. They mask the ship's hydroacoustic characteristics and give the class the best acoustic performance of any submarine previously operated by the UK. In other words, the astute turns into a stealthy underwater predator on the hunt. The noise emitted by this British submarine has even been compared to baby dolphins. The construction of one such atomic fish costs the United Kingdom $1.95 billion. Thinking over the characteristics of its submarine, Britain didn't forget to consider the convenience of its crew, of course. Astute became the second class of submarines after Vanguard, which put an end to the practice of two sailors on opposite watches sleeping in the same bunk at different hours. Here, there was a place for every fighter of the vessel's crew. According to the commander of the Royal Navy, Ian Breckenridge, the astute sonar is simply fantastic. He also stated that he had never experienced holding a submarine at the distance he and his crew had kept the USS Virginia-class New Mexico during the Fellowship 2012 Joint Mock Battles exercise. Jim Howard, the commander of the 4th Astute-class vessel, HMS Audacious, said, in turn, that exercises with NATO allies in the Mediterranean helped Astute demonstrate its prowess as Britain's newest and most combat-ready nuclear submarine proving the country's determination for NATO missions. The first four submarines of the class, HMS Astute, HMS Ambush, HMS Artful, and HMS Audacious are already in service with the Royal Navy. The fifth, HMS Anson, is undergoing sea trials, and two more future members of the class are actively under construction at the BAE system site in Barrow and Furnace, Cumbria. The Astute class has a stowage capacity of up to 38 weapons, consisting of a mixture of Spearfish torpedoes and Tomahawk Block 4 cruise missiles, capable of hitting targets with an accuracy of several meters at a distance of 1,000 miles, give or take. Starting in 2024, these missiles will be upgraded to the Block 5 standard, with even greater range and improved communications, as well as in-flight target selection. In the future, Britain may well equip the Astute class with nuclear Trident 2s, but for now, their main task is to operate with tactical, non-strategic weapons. The Astute Submarine Countermeasure Suite includes decoys and electronic support measures, ESM. And there's not only this, but also the Atlas Hydrographic DESO-25 High Precision Echo Sounder, the sophisticated Sonar 2076 Sonar, 
two CM010 optoelectric masts, and the IFF successor friend or foe identification system. Additionally, the submarines are equipped with dry deck shelters, allowing the deployment of special forces such as Royal Marine Commandos or Royal Navy Special Boat Service SBS, operators while the submarine is submerged. This is not to say that making astute was problem-free. The ship faced technical problems with the reactor and turbine being at odds, and there were financing problems too. However, the country managed not only to successfully resolve these issues, but also to prove that the submarines of the British Royal Navy could outdo even such a formidable enemy as Russia, destroying all possible plans made by the aggressor country in the North Atlantic and the Arctic. Additionally, despite the large dimensions of such Russian submarines as the Yasin, Borai, and Akula classes with an autonomy of about 100 days, the war in the 21st century may well be won by a stealthy fighter who attacks the enemy with lightning speed. Now, should the conflict in Ukraine escalate, the only ones who are really threatened by Russian submarines are the creatures that live in the Black Sea. Since they're clearly not ready to live next door to almost 13,000 tons of Soviet iron. After demonstrating in Ukraine the combat readiness of the so-called Second Army of the World, Western countries were only reassured that Russia loves to make noise, but is well aware of its plight in the event of a nuclear conflict. Britain, the US, and NATO allies have already proven they're ready to cut off their energy dependency on Russia and apply Article 5 in the event of an attack on the NATO bloc. In accordance with the principle of collective defense, a central concept in the treaty between European countries and the US. The only question now is, will the Kremlin be upset enough to take such a step, or will diplomacy once again delay nuclear war, just as it did in 1962? What do you think? Will the astute class be capable of destroying the Russian Black Sea fleet in the event of the stakes being raised? Let us know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to hit that notification bell for more content like today's. See you in the next one.